Hi, um, Gemini's, and welcome to Le Ebony Tarot. Um, today I'm going to be doing your love reading. We're going to be seeing what is coming towards you, family, love, a friend, or foe. No, that's for general. Just what's coming towards you in love. Sorry. <laughs> Thank you for all your likes, your shares, your comments, and your subscribes. I really do appreciate it. If any of you would like to book a personal, all info on how to do so is in the description box below. Um, please do make sure that you are exploring all avenues of information before reaching out for a booking with me, okay? Um, also, please do remember that the energies in the reading can go vice versa. So take what resonates, switch the gender, switch the roles, do whatever you got to do. Whatever you don't got to do is come at me. <laughs> in the comments okay we don't be doing that over here so um the overall energy my beautiful gemini's we have is groupy okay it says shallow fan obsession stalking and lust and at the bottom of the deck we have would you accept and it says apology romantic gestures offers and higher commitment so there's definitely somebody some of you could be online um you know you could have an online platform youtube tiktok you know, snappity chat, whatever. Somebody's definitely obsessively watching you. This could be like an ex from the past. It could be somebody that's quite narcissistic as well. Okay. Um, but it doesn't have to be. Definitely could be a Scorpio, but somebody's watching you. They want to apologize about something or somebody is attracted to you. You could have like a secret admirer and they're watching you to try and kind of analyze how they can, um, make them move towards you, okay? So somebody's thinking, you know, if I do this, if I do that, you know, would this person accept? Yeah, underneath that, we've got student observing, um, observant, listening, studying. Yeah, so someone is it's stalking you. Like, somebody is definitely stalking you. Um, so let's just see who the fuck this is, okay? Hopefully it's not somebody crazy. So, so I feel like for some of you, especially Valentine's Day is coming up, because I, I got this in, um... The overall message, if any of you have watched the general readings, um, I feel like someone could use Valentine's Day as an excuse to try and like um, reach out to you, if that makes sense. Like they're trying to use money or gifts. Okay, but let's just see. So what is coming towards my beautiful Gemini's in love? Yeah, we've got gifts and offers. Oh my God. Romance. Oh my God. I mean... <laughs> Yeah, so somebody's like, oh, would you accept this? Like, so somebody wants to give you a gift, like literally. Um, they may. I'm I'm getting bribing vibes though because it's the groupie. It's not, and it's not in the reverse. The reverse is a better energy, or secret admirer is a better energy. Like this card is like somebody is like obsessed with you, like to a point of like infatuation and shit. So it's kind of like somebody will do whatever they can do in order to get your attention. Okay, for others of you, some of you um, may have a follower, somebody that's your actual fan that follows you, that wants to take you out on a date, okay? So it doesn't have to be crazy for everybody, let's just see, yeah, we got wisdom, okay? So yeah, someone's definitely studying you and watching you, somebody's definitely learning from you as well, could be an air sign, could be an Aquarius, Libra, okay, or Gemini like yourself, okay, but someone is studying, um... Someone is like observing your, um, how can I say? Not your body language, but your nature. Like somebody's trying to work out what it is that you like, what it is that you do. Like somebody could even be like watching you at your workplace or your job. Because I'm getting like real stalkerish vibes here. Okay. It's kind of like someone, I'm getting like a vision of someone like rehearsing what they want to say to you. Okay. But for others of you, you could be connecting with somebody, um... That just, just is very, very fond of you, okay? Um, they may um, want to share some sort of useful information, okay? You could be exchanging ideas with this person, okay? Or you could just be becoming infatuated with someone that you're getting to know, okay? And you could have like a, um, it could be a very intellectual... Um, relationship okay but let's just see right what is coming towards my beautiful gemini's yeah oh my god we've got um endings and beginnings yeah so definitely somebody that you ended it with yeah self-love at the bottom of the deck okay well you know now this now the plot thickens okay so i feel like some of you left somebody because they were fucking crazy as fuck okay this person is trying to plot on how they can get back into your good books okay like i'm just i'm just 
yeah underneath that we've got freedom so yeah you freed yourself from a, a person or you know you know swap the energy take it how it resonates okay um this person can't let this shit go so they want to have a new beginning with you so i feel like somebody's going to try and come and romanticize you um to get back into your good graces okay but i feel like a lot of you are focused on your self-love maybe you're more abundant without this person you've got a more healthier um peace of mind yeah just as i said that i am filled with creative ideas so yeah <laughs> someone is creatively trying to think of a way to like to um to get you back man honestly like i feel like you're heavily on this person's mind oh sorry my fucking eyebrow side itching please clarify wisdom yeah i am persuasive yeah somebody you, you gotta be careful with this energy man you gotta be real careful with this energy i am persuasive here so i'm hearing power of the p so um some of you you know you're very sexy you're very attractive you're very alluring definitely heavy scorpion um, energy here or someone has a very um someone has a lot of mars energy okay but um somebody is trying to persuade you they're trying to use wisdom tactics to kind of um to entrap you like is what i'm seeing here okay because you say that they're in the bed there and she's reading him a book but you know i mean he's looking real relaxed like he's ready to kind of get some like he don't even have a top on she's fully clothed he's just like yeah yeah you read to me baby but i'm gonna get you like this so i feel like someone is trying to use the um the art of seduction okay to draw you back towards them okay this person is very infatuated with the way that you look with your body with your presence yeah we got i am protected oh my boy and then we got i am happy at the bottom of the deck yeah so you know i am happy and self-love is at the bottom of the deck together so you know some of you you know you're focusing on your happiness you could be a lot happier without this person okay the divine i feel like is urging you to protect yourself because this is kind of like the seven of wands energy and it's on um the endings and beginnings it's kind of like allow things to die if something is dead let it just let it you know so this could definitely be somebody who you've blocked who is obsessed um obsessively watching you it's kind of like they're trying to do anything to get your attention they see that you're focused on your self-love and your happiness and it's kind of like they're thinking of conniving ideas of how they can get you back okay because i just feel like somebody just doesn't want to see you happy here or they don't want to see you happy without them okay so let's just see so they could they could be using money like yeah look just as i said that somebody doesn't want to see you happy we've got joy okay with truth at the bottom of the deck yeah so somebody realizes that you are the truth could definitely be dealing with a libra here okay somebody may want to tell you the truth about something as well again somebody may want to apologize about something they did or something that they said okay but yeah you're very happy here okay somebody also um thinks that you're going to be happy with the offer that you're going to give them but i feel like they're going to be, they're going to have a rude awakening with the i am protected here for others of you you could be focused on like a new connection okay and it's like somebody wants to intervene with that. For others of you, this is like somebody who you may want to hear from. So they give you an offer. They say, I'm sorry, such and such. And then you're saying, okay, let's unprotect our connection and let's start again. But let's just see. Please come for I am persuasive. Oh, the cards keep going on the floor. Intuition, yeah. Oh my goodness. Yeah, somebody wants to make peace with you. So this is in the role of wisdom, okay? So yeah, I would say to use your discernment when it comes to this situation, when it comes to this person, okay? Because they're really, like, like this person is real tapped in or trying to tap into your mind state so that they can get to you. It's kind of like someone, like, you could be dealing with someone who's real powerful and it's like they, they can enter your psyche to kind of, um, I don't know, like, download information, and then use that information to kind of, not against you, but to lure you in. Like, that's just what I'm visualising here, okay? Um, but, you know, use your intuition with this person. This person could also be a reader. They could read cards. They could be going to someone. They could be like a natural seer, a natural, like, empath. I'm hearing a sorceress and an enchantress. Okay, please clarify I am protected. And then we've got patience here. And then we've got have a voice. So, yeah, somebody wants to say something to you, Okay um with the patience card here i think you could be dealing with an earth sign but i feel like somebody wants 
I, I'm just getting like a vision of someone like wanting to talk to you and they're just like, oh, do you know what? Can we take it slow? Can, it, can you just hear me out for a minute? But I feel like, you know, in this card, there's all darkness here and all strife and anger and shit. And you've released yourself from this. So I feel like it's like somebody's trying to kind of, like you're out of someone's reach. And, you know, again, with the butterfly, that's transformation. Again, that's scorpionic energy. So I feel like you have to kind of, um... Let me just, let's get the tarot. What is coming towards Gemini's? Yeah, we've got the Knight of Pentacles here. So yeah, someone's definitely coming with an offer here, okay? You see how she's got the um the pentacle in her hand? So, but it's, it's a very slow offer. Like I said, this person has been observing you for a very long time. With the stalky, the, the, the stalky. <laughs> the stalker card here. So it could be Capricorn, Virgo, or Taurus. Yeah, you're not interested. Like, honestly, we've got the four of emotions here. You are not interested in this person's offer. So, like, you you could be ignoring this person. This person feels like um they missed out on an opportunity with you. So, yeah, they're working out. Like, this person could also feel like you're going to reject them. So it's kind of like, you see how he's coming with the offer and she's just like, oh, I don't even know. Like, it could even be like that to be, well, no. It's kind of like, girl, you know, would you take my offer? Would you? Oh, well, you know, no. <laughs> yeah, because some of you could be focused on new love. I mean, this is your energy, Gemini. So yeah, two of, um, two of cups. Um, the lovers at the bottom of the deck. Yeah, and I feel like, you know, because this is in the realm of wisdom, it's kind of like, be smart here. Think smart. Use your intuition, okay? Oh, look, transformation dropped. We just mentioned transformation. I didn't even see it. It dropped on the table. So, dead, dead, yeah, I'm, I'm going to keep that because, obviously, that was supposed to come out in this row. So, but it's saying to use your um, intuition when it comes to this person, okay? Because I feel like, intuitively, you know, like, you're smart. You know this person is not up to no good. I, 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 I don't know what their... Um, intentions are with you but it's a very obsessive energy okay so yeah definitely could be dealing with the scorpio here with the um transformation card okay with the butterflies here and this is in the in the in the row of endings and beginnings so yeah i feel like you just need to dead a situation you need to block yourself and protect i feel like some of you have protected yourself from this person like you've, you've done like some of you may need to actually do work like you need to get a candle and fucking write like protect me from such and such okay because I feel like somebody's not accepting that it's over here. Please clarify the Knight of Knightess of Wealth. Yeah, we got the Seer. So again, definitely could be dealing with um, somebody who reads tarot or who reads cards or somebody who is a psychic or somebody is looking into you, into your situation. So this could be this person. Like if you have a channel, someone is watching your channel obsessively. Working out how they can try and get you back. But this person is watching you in secret. You know, she's the keeper of all secrets. But I feel like you can see this coming. But somebody can see that you're happy. Okay. So somebody's trying to work out, well, how can I, like, give this offer to you? So I feel like somebody's pulling, pulling cards on your energy or getting readings on you. Somebody also may want to apologize here for having a mistress. Because we saw the truth card earlier. So maybe somebody wants to tell you the truth about something. About something that they've been hiding from you. Okay. I also feel like you're not... You're focused on your offers and your self-love and your happiness. Whether it's whether you're with somebody else or not. And I feel like it's... You're happy but you're not saying anything. And I feel like it's driving somebody insane. Because they can see that you're happy. They, they don't know... Like, yeah, look, I am celebrated and supported. So some of you are definitely online with the I am, hero, I am a heroine card here, yeah? So it's kind of like someone is secretly obsessively watching you, but they, they hate the fact that they don't know what's going on in your life because you're not communicating. And I feel like it's saying, like, don't say shit. Okay, with these two cards here, like, don't say anything to this person. I don't know if you can see that. Okay, please clarify the um, four of emotions. Yeah, we've got the witch. Oh, my God. So we've got one, two, three major arcanas here with the death card, the high priestess, and then the, the magician, the witch. So, yeah, like I said, some... Some of you need to use some magic to protect yourself from this person. This person could be trying to use magic on you as well to, to lure you in. Because this is in the role of wisdom, intuition, the psyche. Okay? 
You could not be interested in this person because they're very manipulative. And like I said, this person is trying to use tricks so that you will not reject them. But I don't feel like it's going to work because you're too intuitive for this person. Okay, and with these two cards together, the seer and the witch, definitely some sort of spiritual practic practitioner here. Okay. Somebody also could be trying to kind of like, um, like use magic on, on your love life so that you, that you're attracted to them, but it's, it's just not working. Okay. Let's just see. Please clarify, um, transformation. Yeah. The five of cups, man. And at the bottom of the deck, the eight of passion. So somebody wants to communicate again. You see how the ones are going to her mind. So it's the psyche. So somebody's is trying to use the art of seduction, like I said, to try and manipulate your mind into kind of like still wanting to be with them. But some of you, like I said, you could be concentrating on someone else. Maybe there's somebody else that um you're speaking to online. It could be several different people. But somebody's upset because they don't know. Like I said, you're not saying shit to this person. You're not speaking to them. So they have no um other way but to kind of be a groupie. Watch you online, send you messages. Some of them may even send packages to your house, okay? But with the Five of Cups clarifying the death card, it's a done deal. So somebody here is feeling very remorseful, very regretful, very lonely. But the universe is saying you need to protect yourself from this person. If you don't protect yourself from this person, this could be your energy. But I feel like this is this person's energy. Like I said from the beginning, like somebody cannot accept the fact that it is over. Okay? You have blocked somebody, you know, you're focused on your peace of mind, you're focused on your um your stability here, like grounding yourself. Because you know, patience is like that earth energy and trying to kind of ground and just breathe, like having patience with your own peace of mind, trying to have patience in, in re retaliating into whoever the fuck this is. Okay, because I, I can feel the energy. Like I I knew that these cards were gonna come out. Like you're you're not interested in this person. Somebody could be like a Debbie Downer, they're always going through things, they're very kind of dramatic and shit. Because if the overall energy is like groupy obsession and stalking, lust, shallow fan. So somebody you could have been dealing with someone who's very shallow. I feel like somebody has like an inflated ego here. So they don't understand how um how you're you're doing better without them okay but yeah like someone needs to take the l here someone needs to take the loss so heavy scorpionic energy like i said we've got three cards of scorpionic energy here but it could be a cancer or a um pisces it's like somebody cannot ups accept that the situation here is over okay so let's just see so, you know, expect communication of some kind from somebody. Um, oh. Frustration, yeah. Somebody, like I said, look at her. She's like, nah. And look at him begging, like, please. She's like, fuck off. Like, I t how many times do I need to tell this nigga to leave me the fuck alone? So it's like, this person is frustrated because they can't get in, in contact with you. You're frustrated because they won't leave you the fuck alone. Okay. You're the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. So, yeah, somebody thinks that you're gorgeous, you're beautiful, they can't let you go, basically. And I feel like you're um you're glowing more because you're not with this person. It says at the bottom of the deck, I am working on myself right now. So, yeah, you're working on yourself, your self-love, as we as we state, your happiness. Some of you may have like an online business, or like I said, you could you could be dating somebody new. Just as I said, you could be dating somebody new. New beginning. Oh my god, you know what? Yeah. <laughs> I'm good. I'm sorry. I just have to say, like, I just have to say, but new beginning. A new adventure awaits. Embrace it and and live your dreams passionately. So this is what I'm saying. You're embracing a new connection, a new found self of love. Okay. We've got a date night underneath that. So you could be having a date night with somebody. But this person wants a new beginning with you. But, but as this card says, endings and beginnings. It's kind of like you need to end something. Something beautiful is coming. So somebody's going to gonna feel upset here. They're going to um, feel like left out in the cold. And like I said, they missed out on an opportunity here. Okay, and you've got the dove here. So that's beautiful. So that represents pure love, purity. 
okay? Emotions are a natural and necessary part of life, but they can also distort your perception and cloud your vision. Remember we spoke about that earlier? Okay, with the psyche. In order to see things clearly, you must let go of resentment. Yes. I feel like whoever this is trying to come back into your life, they, they resent you. They resent you for letting them go. So they're trying to come back to be manipulative and it's not going to end well. So I just feel like, you know, use your intuition. And I feel like somebody... <sighs> Someone is real combative here, like they don't know how to, I'm hearing accept defeat. Some of you could be dealing with like a Leo or an Aries. Okay, but yeah, anyway, I hope you enjoyed the reading. I hope it resonated. Please do not hesitate to like, share, comment and subscribe. Toodles.